Hey guys, it's Trevor from DroneFly, here to give you a quick tutorial and review on the Mavic Pro Intelligent Flight Modes. First thing you want to do is click the remote control icon to the left. We're going to bring up your Intelligent Flight Mode menu. We're going to go ahead and start it off with Active Track, aka Trace Mode. Basically, this Intelligent Flight Mode will follow your every movement. Just tap on your target on the screen. Green box will come up. If you hit the OK button, it'll start the Active Track procedure. Try to keep you in center frame at all times. It does lag a little bit on the side to side motions just to smooth out the video. You'll see there's a slider bar on the right there. That is for speed on a shot like this where it is laterally moving. It'll go up to about 40, 45 miles an hour before it uh, starts lagging behind. But it does do a very good job of uh, keeping you in frame, following you around. Not the greatest at walking backwards, so it was a little slow on this particular test. Uh, I did want to also see how it functioned when you know another obstacle got in the way. So I did go around the corner of the building here. Uh, it follows very well until about half of me is covered. It does trip up a little bit, and as soon as I am completely in view again. It does catch back up, uh, line everything up, and get it going. And if you start walking towards the aircraft, it'll turn and start panning the camera down to keep you in frame still. When you get close enough, it'll actually start turning the aircraft to keep you in frame and basically follow you the other direction. I was very pleased on how well this worked. It's a pretty useful flight mode. Next up we've got gesture mode. Here you can see it's uh, put your arms up in a Y to get it to recognize you. And put your hands in a square and pull them apart to get it to snap a photo. So it's recognized me. And it will blink lights on the aircraft so you don't have to keep looking down at the controller or even have the controller with you. Once you Basically pull that box apart, it flashes at you three times, gives you three seconds, snaps your photo. Next up we have cinematic mode. Uh, basically just slows down your yaw so you're uh, turning. And then slows down the braking so you don't get any real hard stops in your video. Something that the gimbal has to adjust angle for. Just generally makes it not look quite as perfect of a shot. Uh, it does not adjust the elevation controls at all, so you can go up and down very quickly. Next we've got tripod mode, probably my favorite out of all of the intelligent flight modes. It slows all of your controls way down. So here I've got these sticks all the way up and all the way back. So we're going up and backwards as fast as it'll let me go right now. And you can see it's very, very slow. Everything looks very cinematic, very smooth. It looks really, really good. We do have a comparison on the speed in regular flight mode. Coming up just after this, we're gonna show you the yaw first as well. That's the left stick fully to the right, fully to the left, just kind of jerking the stick around just to let you see how slow it really is compared to the regular flight mode, which is very fast. You get kind of a blur. You can't really focus on any of the images in the screen. This is full up, full back again. You see it's very quick. Doesn't quite get you the cinematic effect. Except we got Wi-Fi mode. Under that little tab is a switch that says Wi-Fi and RC. If you switch that over to Wi-Fi, you will be able to fly from your cell phone. The password is on the inside of the right arm there. Once you've got it up, you can basically go through your Wi-Fi settings. There should be a network called Mavic, uh, basically where it says Mavic SSID on the arm. That is what it's going to show up as, as far as the network goes. The password is under there as well. This one auto-connected since I have used this Mavic before on the phone mode. 
Then you're gonna to wanna to open DJI Go 4, which is what you use for the Mavic, and hit the Go Fly button. I did wanna wait until it made sure all of the firmware was up to date and whatnot. It's a little slow to load up the screen, but once the picture is up there, you're good to go. The joysticks for the control on the phone don't show up until you actually touch the screen. Then you do have to uh, do an automatic takeoff for the flight with a phone. You cannot start the motors with phones the way that you would with the remote controller. Uh, probably a good idea there. So I did notice that the controls in the Wi-Fi mode are a little laggy and you don't get quite the feel for the flight like you do with the remote controller itself. But this would be great for traveling. If you don't want to take the remote controller with you, you can just pull out your phone and set up any of the intelligent flight modes. Wouldn't want to do anything super complicated as far as flight goes with the Wi-Fi control system. Just Again, it's a little laggy, doesn't quite get you the absolute control you have with the remote controller. But it does work, which is the big one there. So you don't have to use the automatic landing mode. I do think it's very cool. Just hit the uh, circle with the arrow pointing down into it on the left hand side there. It does check to make sure that the landing area is clear, lands itself and then turns off the motor and you've got a full flight under your belt. Go ahead and check us out at DroneFly.com and thank you for watching.